The Kalam cosmological argument fails because it changes the meaning of begins to exist midstream and hides it in the language. Well, quite a mouthful there. <laughs> yeah, he, he thinks that both the premises are false and that the argument commits a fallacy of equivocation. So it's, it's a pretty bad argument, <laughs> according to him. Now, does it commit an equivocation in the word begins to exist? Well, not at all. We can give content to the notion of beginning to exist. We can say that X begins to exist at T, sometime T, uh, if and only if X exists at T and there is no time prior to T at which X exists. I'll repeat that. X begins to exist at T if and only if X exists at T and there's no time prior to T at which X exists. That defines a univocal sense of begins to exist, which works in that argument and would show that there's simply no fallacy of equivocation going on. So I think his refutation is really quite without merit.